Hello YouTube, this is Gavin Animator. Another RPG horror typed game. This one is called The Witch's House. Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and uh, today I'm gonna be uh, revisiting another Let's Play that I have done a couple of years ago because I I really like uh, I really like revisiting games that I liked doing uh, that I liked uh, doing videos on uh, like in my uh, past era of my channel Be and uh, so I, I want to do another one so this time I'm gonna be doing a uh, a game that came out like almost based I think it came out a decade ago it's, uh, it's called the witch's house it's an RPG horror game it's it's a uh, and it's my it remains to this day my personal favorite RPG horror game, so uh, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, playing this again. I because uh, I I have replayed this game a couple of times in the past, and yeah, I uh, I really really like this game. So without further ado, let's uh, let's do this. Once again, I'm, uh, so, uh, I am going to be using Bandicam to, uh, record this, because apparently Fraps can't really, can't detect this game. I don't know why, but I guess that's just, it's just the way it is. The black cat. Oof. File from a previous save. Still here. Don't mind if you go out to play, but it's just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. All right. There's the uh, the machete. Not for those roses, but. these and the machete broke in the process all right there you are it was Yep. Okay. That was weird. Game got a little laggy there. Alright. Ready, guys? <laughs> if I run into m most of these deaths, it's... It's, uh... I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> so. Come to my room. Viola, quote unquote. Wink, wink. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing about this house is that, uh. It, uh. It changes its environments, which is pretty cool. So, uh... Man, it has been... I think it's been nine years since I first played this game. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I, I know exactly what to do here. Yeah. Teddy bear rests in the presence. Take the teddy bear. Alright. I was six and no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Hoping when the house returns to normal, I know exactly what that means. I don't remember that. Yeah. That's that's right, okay.
Okay, uh, shit. Uh, yep. And for some reason, blood is left behind. And that happens. <laughs> Alright. Oh. House does not like that I severed off those limbs. Alright. Anybody see that? <laughs> Anybody see that? Okay, let's see. Okay. So I gotta... Run for my life. There we go. Oh, there's the limbs. Okay. Take them. I was like, don't I get limbs? <laughs> Taste poison. I know what that means. Let's see. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. So, alright. I know what to do here. Let's see. Pile of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard-to-clean cult cutler... Cutlery, they would, could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Alright. Give the limbs. Alright. And I know what to do with this, uh... This key. I'm supposed to... Drop it in the soup. Alright, and now that fire is gone. Hey, get, get out of here. I want to squish you. There you go. Well, there's just something satisfying about squishing those cockroaches. <laughs> Decorative cat ornament. Right. Okay. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as a key. Mm-hmm. The form in the house can be changed by the way of the witch's magic. Yep. Alright. A mirror. Doesn't something happen? Maybe it's not that mirror, but something... Uh, I think, uh... Ellen. Uh... Sneaks up behind you in one of those mirrors. That's really cool that they how they do reflections though. Yeah. Okay. Funny story. Once upon a time there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart had broken down in the woods, but there came a passing under the, his passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to the which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the man returned, he saw the dog on guard. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it. So the hunter killed the dog. <laughs> okay. Residence burned down. His wife were found dead in wreckage. Bodies, blah, blah, blah. Their bodies were sent to found stab wounds who suspected were murdered before building was set flame. 
the police. The police. Okay, yeah, this is where the rope is. The spider has poor eyes, he can't even tell colors apart. That's called being colorblind. Let's see, uh... Yeah, it's in one of these. Oh, I can't push that one. Yeah, okay. And then... <laughs> give the rope to the, uh... The invisible man, or woman, whatever they are. Yes, I am. Book of Death. Just, you know, just for the shits and giggles. I'm, I'm gonna read it. I know what it does, but... So that's what it does. It makes your eyes bleed. But have to use it to not read, but put on the shelf. Alright. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Damn it, he went the other way. Doesn't usually do that. That's, uh... Okay, yeah, I know. Yep. Okay. Wait for... Okay. What?! I don't know why, but it made me s something. Something made me stop there. I don't know what that was. This is weird. I'm used to. Usually, I'm able to just get past this part in the first try. I don't know what's up now. Yeah, see, something just made me stop there. There we go. Okay, now I can. Take the butterfly. The butterfly model. And then... Okay, you know what? Just... Just the sh shits and giggles. I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay. Anyway, what you gotta do is put the model back. Old switcheroo. There we go. Alright. There we go. That is your key. Well, that's cool. This makes a... Oh, I like this. I like I like the music in this game a lot. Okay, so you gotta you gotta dodge those. Hey, what? It just swerved me back in place. I moved out of the way. There we go. Probably this can. It's probably the controller. I'm using my Super Nintendo controller to use this, so or to play this game. Nod. And you got your little frog companion. <sighs> Which you have to do something that'll make you feel like a heartless bastard afterwards. Very soon. 
I still don't like doing it. Oh. Hi. Alright. Oh, this is one of my... This is one of my favorite parts of this game. Gameplay-wise. Uh... Yeah, you gotta make a symmetrical room. This part's really cool. So, uh... Yeah, there are, uh... There are things in your environment that you have to move around. Uh... Like that. I think that's the indicator of when you did something correctly. I'm pretty sure. We gotta sit the frog down there. Affixed to the chair. Alright. Yep, there's a piece of cake in the cupboard that you have to put on the table. Take the rose. Cake on the table. Alright. Okay. So the rose goes here. And then you gotta... I think it's this painting that you gotta switch. Yep. Uh, I think... Let's see. Rearrange the books here. Oh, just one more, I think. There we go. I think that's everything. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, that would have made for a good thumbnail, but... I was... I was too much in a hurry, I guess. Through the next door and let nothing distract you. My father and my mother didn't love me, so I killed them. I've been in this house ever since. Alright. I know what to do here. But I'm just gonna do this for the shits and giggles. I think you have to move again in order for it to happen, but... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. You gotta keep going in a straight line. He's hungry. Oh. This is the part I was talking about earlier. bastard when you have to do this. Force it. <sighs> now we have to open the door. And then that happens. <laughs> then it goes back to normal. It's, it's probably where it died. All right. <laughs> oh, we're only one eye 
eyes open. Allow me to demonstrate what happens if you do this incorrectly. <laughs> so yeah, there's a secret entrance this way, there we go. Make a sound in four rooms. I remember this. Yeah, I need to fix that. With 12. That means a key for some reason. Alright. I killed all the friends who came to my house after that. They were all eaten by the house, but it wasn't enough. Okay. I think it's... Yeah. There we go. I can be the sun, I can be the sand, I can be a bird. What am I? A clock. Queen key, that's what I need to use the music box on. But hang on. I believe it's this one? Yep. And then... Tear it out. Alright. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Or so we're supposed to think. sheet music. I still need that. You need not play. People have different eye colors. We all know the following about women in this region in particular. Their eye colors depend on their hair color. The four hair colors are silver, black, gold, and red. The four eye colors are brown, green, blue, and red. Silver-haired women have red eyes, and brown-eyed women have either blonde or red hair. Oh, yeah. Part of a puzzle that we don't don't have anything that we already finished. Do nothing. I like this song. Turnkey. This is actually a uh, s s slowed down version of the song, apparently, because in the audio files it's actually playing at a higher and faster, or at a higher octave, and a uh, and it's double the speed. Interesting fun fact there. Almost done here. Just need to do one more thing, which is get the clock to tick. Oh, wait. Move the chair. 
Kinky. Sound was made in all the rooms. All right. And then that happens. See? You needed not play. <laughs> yes, I do see. I have I've seen already. Is pig ring. Look inside the fireplace. Here we go. All right. This way. Stop the fire! <laughs> okay. I mean, kill the cockroaches. There you go. And for some reason, you move very, very slowly in this area. I don't know why. Oh, come on. Man, it's hard to see those cockroaches here. I would like to kill them. All of them. Come on. Come on, where are you? Come on. There you are. Okay. In the ribs. Get it? That's a skeleton's favorite snack. I'll open the lid first. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll give you your chopsticks back. Hang on. What the fuck? Those cockroaches are back. Why? Why? I killed you already. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's just like in a Nintendo game. Come on. Everything has resurrection powers. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. In the ribs. All right. There we go. Now let's give this bitch or Oh yeah. over. Now let's give this bitch her ring back. All right. Now we're getting to the top floor. Oh yeah, then this. Alright, take the green one, put it here. Red goes over here. Blue goes over here. Alright, 
cool. Now we're at the top floor. The indoor garden. Here we go. I really like this song. Oh yeah. These got these bitches are jealous. They want to be the prettiest. I got to fulfill their wish. Okay. The talkative plants. The flower ladies are beautiful and can speak. These are their characteristics. White flowers are the most beautiful of the garden. When touched by rain, oddly their petals grow. Red grasses are knowledgeable, but they are always lying, so be careful when conversing with them. The yellow flowers are lovely to a fault. The pollen produced by these flowers is a strong medicine that can kill or give life. Medicine. All right. I know what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah. There's uh, four skulls I have to collect as well. There we go. Can't trick me. White powder. Totally not cocaine or anything. As I give it to this drug addict over here. Yeah, you need your pipe. Which I have to... There we go. Invisible crow, I think. Yep, there it is. Okay. Gotta be, uh... Yeah. Front, right, left, front, right, left. There we go. Reset the timer. Take the skull. Take the empty bottle. And get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think there's another skull here. Yep. Okay. It's uh it's it's just jam. That's all it is. Oh. Bloody Witch's diary, here we go. Then the girl came over to play. A cute girl with golden braids. And then you uh and then you took her body- I mean, nothing. Yeah. I might deserve that for trying to give off spoilers. Wait, what am I doing? I already read that. Do I still need to- 
Okay, yeah. Okay. Was there anything in this bookshelf? Okay, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to... Yeah! Yeah, the petals. I gotta take them and put them in the, uh... Or no, I can't do that yet. Wait, how many skulls do I have? Three. Okay. So yeah, front, right, left. Alright. Front, right, left. Face frontward. No. Left, front. And face that one to the right. Front, right. That one faces to the left. And then front again. Pull the switch. Or the lever. Alright. And then... Run for your fucking life. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wait. Put the petals in a bottle. There we go. And then, fill the bottle with water. All right, now we can go in the darkness. There we go. Okay, I think you gotta follow the pet the uh, pedestals. There we go. They're right here. Yep. That, that is a cue. Jade pipe. Oh boy. And then the ambience is gone. Oh boy. Those are just scare tactics. I don't think there's they can actually harm you. No, not that way. Uh, just keep moving. There we go. And then... Give this drug addict his pipe. Alright. Which means... It's not. I can enter this this cell. The uh, the arousal of making panties. I don't know. Two parents. Something a sick child. Fuck dependence, I don't know. Let them bleed. Oh boy. Hey. All right.
The cat got to witness that. Awesome. You gotta watch the shoes. And then you gotta run for your life again. There we go. So now we can use these shoes to walk on here. All right. That almost looked like me. Hey. Would you look at that? I wouldn't kill her because she say would she would save me from my sickness, so I made her my friend. You made yourself hurt. I mean nothing. A small little bottle. Found a cute little bottle. Oh boy. Pick it up. Okay. Oh, fuck. Never know when they're coming from. Shit. Oh, this is cool. Red grass. And then headless doll. There we go. Oh, look at that. A shit ton of cockroaches for me to step on. Thank you. This is very I don't know why I like doing this. It's just satisfying. <laughs> Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're still here. But now I can leave this area and assemble the purple doll. All right. Yes. Oh, this is such a good game. I really like it. Oh boy. Come to my room. And we can have some fun together. If you know what I mean. Corpse of a black cat. Oh boy. Alright. Alright, here we go. Which is diary. My sickness is going to kill me. So, I decided I'll take her body. I'll live on in her body. That's fine, right? Because we're friends. She'll give me her body. Because we're friends. After all, even today you came to play with me. Right, Viola. <laughs> Okay. And fucking run. Hey. Damn it. Oh, no, I got to I got to start from the other side of the room, and then... Hey! Hey! 
There we go. There we go. All right. Ellen's knife. There we go. This letter was not here before. This is where I started. Dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name is Ellen, right? Well... Alright, cute little bottle. There we go. You're stubborn. How long are you going to chase me? You know that body won't last long. Give it back. No way. This body hurts much less. You gave it to me in the first place. Why should I have to give it back? Right. Viola. You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I use my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day. I guess I did say that. I was surprised you could trap me with my own power, but to no avail. After all, it's my house, yes. It wouldn't be killing me anytime soon. I was guided by the house all the way, so I was assured to escape. Except for those few other times where I died. <laughs> Still not dead. I have to applaud your tenacity. Ah, could it be? Are you that worried about your father? Oh, I know. You and your father, Viola. A close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. A hunter, isn't he? And he even sent you that letter. What a good father. So then, I suppose you're worried about what'll happen when you're gone. It'll be just fine. I'll give him Viola's share of love. And I'll take her share of love, too. And this part is really fucked up. <laughs> but yeah, I got really sad when I when I first saw this part. She's trying to say father. That's fucked up. But yeah, that's the twist ending. This whole time you've actually been playing as Ellen instead of Viola inside of her body. That's... and uh... Viola has been inside of... 
the wedge's body since the this game even started so yeah there is another ending where uh, um it kind of it ends the exact same way except it just hides that truth from you so it it's supposed to look like it's all a happy ending and stuff, and it has, like, brighter music and stuff. It's supposed to seem like it's all happy, but it, deviously it's really not. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the game. I'm, uh, I'm really glad that I, uh, did that again. I'm... I, uh, still enjoy this game just as much as I did back then. I, uh, this is, this still remains to this day one of, uh, my favorite RPG horror game of all time. So, uh, uh, to those watching this video, let me know what you thought of it. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching this, um, just, um, and stay tuned for whatever I plan to do next. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care.